It's a beautiful day for playing outside, so I've made up a simple wire dipole for 2 meters. I shall be testing it using the Nano VENA Vector Network Analyzer. I will test for the presence of common mode currents on the feeder, by grasping the cable. If currents are present, the readings will change. I'll repeat the test, with and without these ferrite clamps, to see if they make any difference. I'm hoping they will. This is the Nano VENA plot without any ferrite clamps. The yellow line is the standing wave ratio. When I grasp the cable, it clearly has an effect. This indicates that there are unwanted currents on the outer of the coax, which my hand is shunting away. The values around the resonant point don't change much, as I run my hand along the cable, but in some situations the change can be significant. Now I release the cable. Grasp the cable again. And now release it. I have clamped five ferrite sleeves onto the cable, near the feed point, and now there is almost no effect, no matter where I grasp and release the feeder. The sleeves have suppressed the unwanted currents. Finally, I shall attempt to measure the currents on the outer conductor of the feeder, using a current probe similar to this one. I have taped a smaller probe to the feeder, and will measure the signal amplitude using the tiny spectrum analyzer. I'll energize the aerial using a handheld. With no ferrite sleeves, and 30 decibels of attenuation, there's around minus 26 dBm of signal picked up off the coax. After adding 5 ferrite sleeves, the unwanted signal drops to around minus 38 dBm. A useful reduction meaning that more of the transmitter power is now going into the dipole, instead of radiating off the coax. As we have seen, these cheap ferrite clamps can make an effective choke ballon at VHF. And unlike coils of coax, bazooka ballons and pawsy stubs, they are wideband, making them suitable for scanning.